when I used to work with that lady, she used to hire because she was very old. She was in her sixties, and she. What do you think she's doing she now? Used, What's she up to? She's she's working for this uh this gig company, and she calls me sometimes to like work, and sometimes I'm just like, sure, because I live downtown, I can like walk, walk to most of the gigs. But anyway, she was like she, she used the opportunity as the director of the park to like book the bands like her favorite bands from when she was a kid and they were kind of like old hokey like white bands like fucking i can't even fucking name them but they were like big in the 70s and then when the bands would come to the to the shows they were all fucking old they had this old ass entourage and they were fucking you could tell they'd been touring for decades because they fucking came to work and like Ah. Everyone was like, move aside, Junior. I fucking got this. And these fucking fat roadies came, fucking loaded up the fucking shit. Like the, it, it was kind of mesmerizing to see how fast they mic'd up a drum set. But they would fucking, uh, they'd just be so fucking old, dude. And I could tell that like she would be the only one having a good time listening to the music. And like the crowd that the bands would attract were always like 50 year olds. And it was kind of like weird because you're like you're in downtown LA with like all this like all these different races and all this culture and just the whitest bands you can think of would just be fucking coming in and then she would like bring cover bands in dude oh my god she brought in this fucking beatles cover band but it was like serious it was like a vegas act okay and and they were like good but it was still a cover band and i was like dude like come on you're fucking los angeles but yeah, now the new the new guy like hires like bands of color. You know, yeah. Is there a diverse music taste though? Or is it kind of the same? It was all pretty much the same. Like anything newer than I think the most the most modern act I ever saw under her watch was Smash Mouth. What about this guy's? Oh, this guy? Well, there hasn't been big shows, but like the small shows, like they're like local bands. So like the attraction is already different. Like I can, I can see like different, like a younger crowd coming. Is there like themes for the events? Uh, it's just like this month well, or this week. You got small local cats. This week it's like salsa or something, like the salsa band or something. And like people come out and they dance and shit. I'm just like, oh, so this is what culture is. <laughs> and they're good. I'm just like, dude, these people like literally fucking. You get some good like like southern like Cuban esque tropical bands, bro. Amazing. Yeah, dude. They were like and congas. Oh. There were these women coming out last year. I mean last week. They would like come out and they would start dancing and then like these guys would come up and they would like dance with them. They were like, I think they were doing tango. I don't know. I don't fucking know. And they were dancing like they had been training together for years. And they they just switch partners and like people just come up like, yo, wanna dance? And then they just fucking fucking go. And I'm just what like, what the is- fuck? I was like, dude, I need to take it like a dance class because that shit's cool. Just go around dance parties. Yeah, I'm just like, what the fuck? Because I, mean, I, I was doing an interview one time with a producer who grew up in New York, but he was uh, Puerto Rican. And he was like, he'd, he'd go to these like house parties and they play like like salsa music and, and cats just kind of like dance. And that's what like what they do. <laughs> so if you go to like salsa parties and stuff, and especially growing up and like probably parents and grandparents that were coming over from different areas and keeping dance and music culture. And that's just what was popping. That's what's going on. Yeah, dude. Fucking music's wild, huh? Yeah. It's kind of like a drug. 